Messed Up is brought to you by Midcoast Federal Credit Union. Hello and welcome to Masta Up, the quiz show that challenges Maine high school students in the arenas of math, engineering, science and technology. I'm your host, Sarah Long, and today from Wayne Fleet, we have Stephen and Juliana. Welcome back to you guys. And from uh, Westbrook High School, we have Alex and Josh. Welcome back to you guys as well. Now our students, just like last time, will be competing across four rounds. The brain battle, engineer this, grid of destiny, and of course the end game question. The difference this time is that there will be a winner and loser today. So the winner will move on to the next round. It's no longer just by points. So if we're ready to get started, let's go to the brain battle. In the brain battle, we have 10 questions worth five points each. Now, if you buzz in before we go to multiple choice and you answer correctly, you will get an additional two points. You don't lose any points for wrong answers in this round. Are you guys ready? All right, let's get to it. A ribosome is a complex molecular machine which is the primary source of the synthesis of what inside cell? Talk to you, Josh, talk to you. Multiple choice. A, amino acids. B, RNA. C, proteins. And D, cytoplasm. <coughs> C. That is correct, Red Team. The Earth's hydrosphere covers what percent of its surface? and multiple choice. A, 58%, B, 66%, C, 71%, or D, 82%. Red team? C. That is correct, 71%. The first handheld lighters were converted from what other sort of device? And multiple choice. A, flintlock pistol, B, hammer and chisel, C, scissors, or D, grenade. Red team. A. That's correct. If 800 centimeters of length are sawn off a 12 meter long board, how many millimeters of the board remain? Red team. 11,200. Incorrect. And blue team. 4,000. That's correct. Name one type of dinosaur which was alive during the Cretaceous period. Blue team. Triceratops. That's correct. What does the Earth's ozone layer restrict from entering the atmosphere? And blue team. UV rays. That's correct. Ultraviolet radiation converts the skin oil 7-dehydrocholesterol into what? And multiple choice. A, vitamin B. B, calcium. C, riboflavin. Or D, vitamin D. Blue team. Vitamin D. Correct. I was going to say sweat. Evaluate 72,519 times 9,999. Blue team. 7251827489. Incorrect. I'll give you about 10 seconds. No, oh, yeah, yeah we're good. Right. Um, let's go with a million and 234. <laughs> Incorrect. Oh, so the close. correct answer is 725,000. That was so close. Or excuse me, 725,117,481. Josh, you're so 
numbers. Yeah, the first three, right? Yeah, the yeah, first three numbers. numbers. <laughs> All right, the existence of dark matter has been postulated based on unexplained effects in the framework of what physical force? What the fuck? Blue team. White. Incorrect. Red team. Black hole. Incorrect. The correct answer is gravity. Uh -huh. If the Earth formed about 4.5 billion years ago and Homo sapiens appeared about 250,000 years ago, how long was the Earth around without humanity? Red team. 4.25 billion years. Correct. And at the end of our brain battle, the red team, you guys are at 22 points, blue team 26 points. And when we come back, we'll chat with both teams and then we'll head into the engineer this challenge where 40 points are at stake. We'll be back right after this. And welcome back to Messed Up. We're about to head into the Engineer This Challenge, but first we want to say welcome back to both of our teams who got here from the first round. And uh, Alex and Josh, you guys, uh, Alex, you're here because you have great hair. Yeah, of course. Right? That's why you were picked to be on the show. <laughs> and uh, Alex, you said that, uh, or Josh, you said that a teacher actually nominated you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to give a shout out to anybody uh, at, uh, at Westbrook? Dr. Baca, he couldn't <laughs> be with us today. He is away, but he got us both here because he liked our hair. Excellent. You guys are looking dapper. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and over to Wayne Fleet. How's the uh, school year been so far? Pretty good. Uh, I've been playing golf uh, this year. We've had first winning season. Nice. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, and what about you, Drew? Uh, I play soccer. Yeah, and how's the season been? Good, we're five, one, and two right now. Oh, excellent, you guys are both having good seasons. Good, well, welcome back to both of you. And now we're going to head in to the engineer this challenge. Maya, give us the details. Thanks, Sarah. This week's Engineer This is all about structural integrity, as the teams battle in the Bridge Building Challenge. Each team will have five minutes to construct a bridge using the standard messed up materials kit. The team with the bridge that holds the most weight wins the 40 points. Good luck! Thank you, Maya. Do you guys get the instructions? Any questions? All set? All right, your five minutes starts now. You're using so much tape right now. Go get another one. I'm liking this, actually. All right. Go. We start with you guys. Cans oh, of cat food. 
otherwise known as weights today. And you're gonna start and you can place them however you'd like. Let's see how many it holds. <laughs> Reps four. Have to get more cans. Oh! Wow! And red team, your turn. Yeah, your turn. One, 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 one. I don't want it to just fall off. It's like it's your, it's your fork, your fork idea. Idea. So, um, yeah, that was a horrible really idea. Well. Other side. That's one other side. Just slide it. The... Yeah, that's why I slid them down. So. Yeah, we're good. I don't want to put it in the middle. We don't. <laughs> go don't edges, go edges. So just start tape making noises. It's not coming on. Well done, guys. Wow, both teams all. Then no, it's just this one piece. <laughs> That's what it's just this one. All right, there. so we go forty points to both teams. Good job, guys. That one piece that of tape is just yeah, right. Hyping <laughs> this whole it's thing up, just this one like piece. Okay. So red team sixty-two points and blue team sixty-six points, and we're back right after off. this with a grid of destiny. Do you want to? Welcome back to Messed Up. Our two teams are very close, within four points of each other. The red team is at 62 points and blue team 66 points. And now we head into the grid of destiny. The grid of destiny is set up in four columns, each with four questions of increasing difficulty and point value. And the columns are, of course, math, engineering, science, and technology. Same as with the brain battle. If you guys buzz in before I go into multiple choice and you answer correctly, you get an additional two points for that correct answer. Are you guys ready? All right, so the leading team starts off. And blue team, your choice. Um, math for 15. What is the smallest three-digit Prime number. Blue team. 101. It is. <laughs> Math for 20. Evaluate 2 cubed times 3 to the fourth. Blue team. 648. That is correct. Blue team, your choice. Math for 10. How many equilateral triangles with bases of 4 centimeters? can fit inside a circle of radius one centimeter. Multiple choice. A, three, B, two, C, one, or D, zero. Red team. D. That is correct, zero. Engineering 10. Yeah, engineering 10. What is the oldest type of time measuring device? Blue team. Sunbar? Correct. Blue team, we're back to you, your choice. Uh, engineering 15. What other metal is commonly used for the galvanizing of iron or steel? Blue team. Copper. Incorrect. Red team. Zinc. Correct. <laughs> and red team, we're back to you. Your choice. 20. Engineering for 20. Engineering for 20. Yeah. In the form of an equation, what is the essential mathematical relationship between resistivity and conductivity? And multiple choice. A, R equals one over S. B, R equals S. C, R equals S squared. Or D, R is greater than S. Blue team. A. That's correct. And blue team, your choice. Science 10. How many protons are in a helium atom. Blue team. Two. Correct. Technology time. In computer networking, the acronym LAN stands for what? 
Red team. Local area network. That's correct. Okay. Red team, your choice. Technology 15. Compact discs hold how many minutes of music? Red team. 90. Incorrect. Blue team. Incorrect. The correct answer is 74 minutes, and that was decided on by a Sony exec because it could contain all of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. So we're back to Blue Team. Your choice. Uh, technology 20. What effect on the bodies of space travelers was predicted by Jules Verne in his novel From the Earth to the Moon? And multiple choice. A, radiation poisoning, B, bone loss, C, weightlessness, or D, time dilation. Red team. C. That's correct. Your choice. We'll finish the category. In 1898, when telephones were new, Mark Twain wrote from the London Times of 1904 a rare science fiction piece in which he included a device called the telelectroscope which is considered to be a prediction of what later invention? Red team. Cell phone. Incorrect. Blue team. Uh, like voice chat, like Skype? Incorrect. <laughs> the correct answer is the internet. Uh, yeah. And blue team, your choice. Math 25. Evaluate 8 to the 8. You're on that team. Go. <laughs> <laughs> and let's go to multiple choice. A, 16,777,214. B, 16,777,216. C, 16,777,400. Or D, 16,777,888. Red team. B. That's correct. <laughs> Red That's team, so your smart. choice. Engineering for 25. Engineering 25, this is the video question. Ooh. Hi, my name is Galen Richmond. I'm an intern at Fairchild Semiconductor uh, in the Electrical Engineering Department, specializing in test and characterization. I'm also an electronic musician. I play under the name Computer at Sea, and in that project, I make my own instruments out of circuit bent hardware and some handmade electronics. And here is your video question for the week. So picture a simple loop circuit, right? It has three elements. It has a 9-volt battery in series with a 100-ohm resistor in series with a 1,000-ohm resistor. So just those three parts in a loop. What is the voltage drop across the 1,000-ohm resistor? I'm guessing this is chemistry. Blue team. 9 over 1,000? Incorrect. Nine over 100. <laughs> Incorrect. The correct answer is 8.18 repeating volts. Josh, why didn't you get that? So, uh, blue team, your choice. Science 15. According to modern theories, the Higgs boson provides particles with what property? Multiple choice. A, charge. B, spin. C, mass. Or D, motion. Red team. A. Incorrect. Blue team? D. Incorrect. The correct answer is mass. <coughs> Red team, your choice. Science for 20. What is the most common type of primary producer in Earth's ocean? Blue team. Algae. Correct. Oh, um, science right by. <laughs> <laughs> DNA and RNA are composed of nucleobase building blocks which form pairs and stack helically. Name one nucleobase. Red team. Uh, what? <laughs> um, you know it. You can say it. And we need an thing. answer. Mm. Trip the fan. <laughs> <What>? Incorrect. Ribosomes? <laughs> Incorrect. Uh, we would have accepted guanine, yes, that was uh, cytosine, adenine, thymine, and uracil. 
And that's the end of our grid of destiny. Red team, you are at 146 points and blue team 171 points. So we have a close game and we're heading into our end game question. The teams will make their wagers and the subject is technology. We'll be back right after this. And welcome back to Messed Up. Here we are at our end game question, and I have wagers from both teams. And a reminder that the winner today will go on to the semifinals in just a few weeks. All right, the subject is technology. And if you guys are ready, you have three minutes to answer the following question. Order the following space probes by date of their launch from earliest to most recent. Cassini Huggins. Venera 3, Vostok 1, Viking 1, and Sputnik 1. You guys all set? I guess so. Okay. All right, 15 seconds early. Uh, I've got Viking, Vostok, Cassini, Huggins. Uh, Venera and Sputnik. That's incorrect. All right, red team. We had Sputnik one, Viking one, Vostok one, Venera three, and Cassini Huggins. Incorrect. So the correct order would have been Sputnik, Vostok, <laughs> Venera, Viking, and Cassini Huggins. All right, so, so blue team, you wagered four points. Your score was 171, so you are at 167. And red team, you were at 146. You wagered 68 points, so that brings you down to 78. So blue team, you guys win today. That means you go on to the semifinals. Congratulations to thank both you. of you guys. We'll see you in a few weeks. And thank you so much thank to you. Westbrook. Yep. You guys did awesome, and uh, congratulations on making it this far. And thank you so much for joining us again on this edition of Messed Up. We will be back here next week with our next round. Remember, you can always watch episodes on messedup.tv and you can keep up with what Maya is up to on our Facebook page. Have a great night, everybody. Stop is brought to you by Midcoast Federal Credit Union.